Welcome to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm demonstrating a quick and simple mod I did to this cheapo Teleparts caster here that remedied kind of something that was lacking in this guitar. You know, and this was a mod I wanted to do before I go trying to buy new pickups because I don't know if any of you watch Glenn Fricker also. He's trying to tell us that pickups don't matter. There's a debate there, but I'm of the opinion that if there's something that a guitar is kind of lacking, there are wiring mods you can do before you go changing pickups. So that's what I like to try, at least. And in this guitar, the bridge pickup, I absolutely love. I haven't wanted to change anything about this bridge pickup, but the neck pickup just didn't have clarity. Didn't have any attack to it, you know, which I guess could be good for like a jazz type tone, if that's what you were going for, but I really don't play jazz. So here we are. But, you know, in my endless days of watching YouTube videos on guitar because I'm weird like that and you're here watching me, so you're weird too. Welcome to the club. It's pretty much a mod that I saw Zach Childs uh, talk about in one of his tellies where you pretty much disconnect the tone pot from the neck pickup, but it still applies to the bridge pickup. And when you take a tone pot out of a circuit, it does, you know, there's a little, little teeny bit more clarity you get out of the pickup. It's not a drastic change. I've demonstrated this before. I have an Esquire type um, telly where one of the positions is the tone pot out and the other position is the tone pot in and there's a little bit of a difference. It's not drastic, but it's there. So what that allows you to do is you can pretty much set your tone on your amp or your pedals to where the neck pickup has enough clarity and attack to it. And then when you go to the bridge position, you just have the tone knob already rolled back a little bit to where it balances out. And I think it worked. Um, I'll have a link below. I'll put it in the description to both Zach's video on this. I gotta go find it again. And he has it on his blog where he actually talks about how to do it. It's a pretty simple mod. My soldering is sloppy. I don't wanna put that. I'm almost more embarrassed to show soldering of my guitar on camera than I would be to be naked on camera. I'm not doing either, but I would feel more insecure about my soldering, <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. But anyways, that was a weird tangent. Okay, so to demonstrate this, it definitely makes the most amount of difference when you're kind of in the lower gain setting. You know, not so much clean, but when you have distortion. So distortion pedal's a perker rat because frankly, it's the best sounding dirt pedal I've come across that I like that seems to work with everything. That's my opinion, at least. And I'm going through this little Fender tube hybrid amp here, load box, impulse responses. That's the rig. So... Here's the amount of trouble I would have to where I like the bridge pickup. Then if you switch to the neck pickup. I don't know, I like a, a little more clarity, a little more crispness on my neck pickups. That's kind of the one thing I'm a little particular on and the one thing where cheap pickups usually fall short, but I think this happens on a lot of regular name brand tellies too, so. So, you know, right there, that gets the bridge pickup to where it's not too ice picky. It, it sounds full and I like it. So yes, you might be screaming at me right now, well just roll your tone knob back when you're on the bridge, but then every time you switch between the pickups, you have to do two steps of switching the pickup and rolling the tone knob, and when you're in the heat of battle at a gig, that's too much. So by taking the tone pot away from the neck pickup, what you can do is you can set your amp, you know, have enough trouble to where the neck pickup sounds good. Somewhere right around there. And then you roll the tone pot back on the bridge and you just leave it there and it sounds like this.
sorry, this guitar needs a little setup because we've had uh, weather changing here, but I don't know, to me that remedied it. So to go back to where it was, this is what the neck pickup sounded like. This is what the bridge pickup sounded like. And then turn the treble up on the amp, roll the tone knob back on the bridge pickup. So to me, it takes this parts caster, which I don't know, I just never used the neck pickup on it because it just didn't quite have enough attack. And it's still kind of a lower output. I'm not ruling out putting a stronger neck pickup in here one day, but for now, having no tone control on the neck pickup, turning the treble up a little bit on the amp, then having the bridge pickup with the tone rolled back a little bit, definitely balances these, this guitar out a lot. So moral of the story, before you go spending money to replace pickups and doing all this crazy stuff, there are mods you can do. All it costs to do this mod is if, if you have a soldering iron and it took one little jumper cable, a uh, piece of wire, because you're pretty much taking the input from the bridge pickup and only having that connected to the tone pot versus the entire master volume of the guitar. I'm not good at explaining mods. I'll have Zach Child's blog post about it below and you can figure out for yourself how to do it. DIY, it's a lot of fun. So anyways, hopefully this has been informative or at least entertaining or maybe infuriating. I don't know. It's the internet, anything can happen these days, but please subscribe. I'll affiliate links to Amazon and eBay and Reverb down below if you wanna help support this channel because I'm just a dude in my basement talking to my camera like a crazy person. At least I'm not in my truck with Oakleys talking into a camera. I guess that's better, but anyways, see you next time.